What's going on guys, my name is Triforce Addiction, so I know I have been holding out on this video for quite a long time, and it's the Diamond ZRG video. So yes, I want to give my closing thoughts on the ZRG because as of recently, I have been using it quite a bit and it's been fun, not gonna lie, but at the same time, it kind of serves as gluttony because it's probably one of the best snipers, if not the best as of right now in this game. So I said before in the Damascus slash Platinum video, I already got Damascus by the way after getting the Butterfly Knife Gold, so Keep that in mind, you don't get it Damascus unless you get those both weapons done, so unfortunately that's how it is now, I don't know why they have it like that, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. But anyways, when it comes to uh, the ZRG, I have said before, um, this sniper needs to be nerfed. Uh, a lot of people have agreed, I think everyone can agree on this because it basically is, it's basically the pre-patched Arctic 50. You guys remember how that went, uh, the stopping power had very little downsides. I believe the downsides were like probably like 3% ADS speed for the stopping power reload, which was probably one of the best attachments for the weapon until they nerfed it down to 20% more ADS speed lost. And yeah, like since then, the Arctic 50 hasn't really been that useful, but still, with a gun that pretty much has a, the same type of mag where you could shoot anywhere in the body and get a one-shot kill, it is definitely a problem. Like, yes, it does nerf your movement speed a little bit, but not really ADS movement speed where it's... Oh, sorry, the ADS speed in general is the one that you are really... They should be concerned about. But knowing me, I always kind of go just the merciful route and just use the regular extended mag because it's really all you need. I mean, the chances of hitting in the leg are very, very slim. It's not that hard to miss with a sniper rifle. But it's safe to say that the majority of players would prefer using the anti-vehicle mag just to stay safe. I mean, especially if you're going against bots when they're like hardwired to jump every time you aim at them with the sniper. Yeah, it's, it's very useful. But I don't know. I Like me, you guys know me. I have too much pride. And it's weird looking back because... I can't, when, whenever new weapons come out from other games, especially from Modern Warfare or Black Ops Cold War, I tend to kind of think that they're going to perform the same way as they did in, in their respective games. Uh, with the ZRG, it was always meant to be a slow bolt-action sniper rifle. I mean, you guys would see videos of it. Um, it bolts extremely slowly. The aim speed's pretty slow as well. It's not really that useful unless it's in Warzone. So I was expecting it not to be much of a big deal, but I mean... With COD Mobile, it's such a different thing. I mean, there's so many weapons that sucked in their own respective games, and they came out on top in this game. Um, like, proof of that is, like, the SVD, the M13, Kilo, all that stuff. Those were average weapons in Modern Warfare and Cold War, but they end up becoming, like, extremely overpowered in this game. And now we have a sniper that is... that Well, that technically should be a heavier one, that is the lightest one in the game and very capable of one-shotting throughout the whole entire body, depending on what mag you use, of course. And there's really no penalties for it. And it brings it back to the sniper meta back in the old days, like maybe over a year ago, where the snipers had inc like crazy ADS speeds. I'm pretty sure some of you guys remember that, like they were completely overpowered, they took over the entire game. And it really, this weapon really brings us back to those moments, especially with me, that all that fucking PTSD from those days. It was crazy. If anything, this sniper kind of proves that <laughs> maybe other snipers don't need a buff. Because I've been hearing that a lot on Twitter. Like, oh, snipers should be buffed. Uh, they're too weak right now. It's like, dude, are you kidding me? With fast switch and everything, it kind of makes up for all the lost speed if you think about it. And the fact that you never had to bolts, that's pretty crazy. But this gun is a perfect reason as to why snipers should not be changed because now people are complaining about it. So what can you expect from the nerf? So now that we're at this part before we close off the video with the class up and everything, um, I mean, two of the, like, one of two things could happen. Uh, my best guess is that they're probably going to lower, they're going to have some ADS speed penalties for that anti-vehicle mag, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be very heavy. It's not just going to be, like, 5% or even 10%. Things, I think it's probably going to be, like, 15 to 20%. Uh, maybe somewhere in between. I'm not really that sure. But the second possibility is that they could probably lower the time of the bolting, uh, making it a lot slower, ma making it closer to how it was in Cold War. However, there's no guarantee that they're going to change it within Season 9. For all we know, they'll wait till like the major update in Season 10. Uh, as you guys already know, the ranked season as well as Season 9 is only going to get a mini update. So nothing major is going to change until Season 10. And hopefully, I mean, if they're making us wait like three months for a major update, it has to be for a reason. So again, in the major update, that's probably where it's going to get uh, nerfed. Uh, yeah, they sometimes they do kind of step it up and nerf it like the season right after. Sometimes they might even nerf it within the season, but 
it's a very it's very unlikely that they're gonna do either of those i'm knowing cod mobile they will probably wait a very long time so here is the class setup it is uh, mip light barrel short ycam combat stock owc laser as well as extended mag and stippled grip tape of course uh in terms of ammunition if you don't want to use anti-vehicle you could either use extended mag or you could use bullet return out of those they both work really well so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe for some more cod mobile content i'll see you guys next time